<laughs> Kerry Chikorovsky, the petrol price. The PM couldn't name it yesterday. <laughs> when you were leader of the Liberal Party... Yep, there were three things you always knew. You knew petrol. Actually, no, petrol wasn't as big an issue then. Yeah. You definitely knew how much it was to buy a loaf of bread. You knew how much milk was. And you knew, in my instance, how much it was to catch the train from where, I, or where you lived or the bus from where you lived because transport prices were an issue as well. So, yeah, I'm a little surprised that he didn't know because... Well, you drive past I was going to say, well, that's... There. The issue is... No, have a look, mate. So, with bread and milk, you actually have to go into the supermarket <laughs> and buy them. That's but right. Petrol, that's... But petrol, they're on big signs everywhere. So, does he not look up while he's in the car? He's reading his briefs. <laughs> the reason, oh, you're very kind. <laughs> if you, if you, you know, afternoon agenda, we've been going on for a while about how it's up to $2.20, mostly because I keep paying that and I can't cop it. But, look, I mean, what about you? You've chief of staff to Bob Carr. He would've, you would have drilled all that to him, wouldn't you? Well, uh, the price of beer was the big thing for Bob, of course. Uh, oh, because he never, cause he he never bought beer. one. Not, not just, not just <laughs> he had one. Campari and soda. <laughs> well, <laughs> on a good night when he was really going crazy. Uh, look, I think... Um, the challenge for him, of course, was to distinguish between a schooner and a midi. And uh, once you got through that, you were probably on the home straight. But, <laughs> look, the, but, you know, these things are sort of gotcha moments. It reminds us all that you do actually have to keep that list uh, in the front of the car when you're not looking at the price of petrol. You're reading that list to tell you how much uh, the bread is, the water is, the whatever it is that you're, you're paying for, the rent, uh, mortgages. I mean, you could go crazy, though, trying to keep all that stuff yeah. in your head. and There's only three or four things you've got to remember. But, but people keep going until they find one that you don't remember, you know. Oh, no, I think you get more <laughs> of an excuse for that. I mean, I, cho I choose carefully when I ask these questions, I can tell you. All right, housing affordability, it's a big issue. It's mm. going to stay a big issue. So, I mean, Anthony Albanese announced the home equity scheme finally. The opposition want to allow young people to access this super... Okay. How do we get more supply out there? I, I, I'm not convinced by what he announced in National Cabinet. Are you? So I think the real issue is the supply issue, and we've yeah. talked about, th about this before, and the issue is that until we start making it easier for people to actually put in applications, get them approved and start to build. So there's a lot of state influence over the supply issue, and we all know that. So, you know, I've said previously, all power to Chris Minns, he tried to introduce some uh, planning changes. They've gone back to the drawing board because they didn't work. The industry was saying, it didn't work but we really need to get the planning system right and then the money the money will be much easier to get if people know if, if you know and I know developers are a terrible group of people everybody hates them but they're the people who are developing particularly the apartments turns if, out we need them well and I was going to say and if they know if they've got some certainty about time frames if they know that when they put in an application it will be dealt with in a reasonable period of time I've got people who've had applications in for three or four years and that's just insane you know, Say you, that again, sorry. We've had, we've had people who've had applications in for property developments oh, right. for three or four years, and that's just insane. All right, I mean, who are these young people who are buying $2.5 million homes in Sydney at the moment? Who are, few, where, where who, they, who are threatening not to vote from? Labor anymore. <laughs> where are they getting the money from? Look, uh, obviously, um, you know, very wealthy mums and dads. I've got yeah, no well, idea. So Look, that, well, that's it. So either have rich parents or you're buggered, right? I think it's very hard these days to be purchasing a home, you know, certainly within, say, 10 kilometres of the CBD, um, in the outer suburbs, you can probably do it with some assistance. And if, you know, one person's banking all their money and, and the other one, and you're living off the other, yeah. uh, you know, the partnership <laughs> arrangement, which we all had when we were young, yeah. that, was how you, that was how you paid for your house. Uh, look, it's a, it's a perennial I'm problem. Avocado on toast, are you? No, 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 well, no, no. I'm just going to say, but it's a strong argument for having more apartments because you right. can actually buy an apartment more yeah, cheaply I, I than you can buy a right. house. You can. And right. if you're and, and, and if in Europe, you know, big European cities, families live in apartments. If you want to live close to town, that's what you got to do. And the that's, reality that's, is also, that the yeah. reality is that kids can. Grow, I mean, I live in I live in an expensive apartment block, yes, but I mean, there were more kids when I first moved into that building. There were no children in it. Right. Now there's, you know, they have their sure. own play group within yeah. the building because yeah. people have worked out kids. If you've got open you've got space, playgrounds, open, open space, all that, you've got to have all you those things. In that's, an apartment. that's all got to be part of the planning process, totally. of course, which I think previous governments have failed in New South Wales to do properly. You've got to have, you know, you've got to have infrastructure planning. You've got to have hospitals. You have to have schools. Yep. You have to have playgrounds. Totally. You have to play, have playing fields. It's a very complex process. But also, just be a little bit careful about the whole. You know, we can all afford to live in an apartment, sort of argument because everybody who does live in an apartment sees those 
body corporate charges coming yeah. in yeah. every month and yeah. those levies keep going up and up yeah, and up. Yeah. They're there not cheap either. There, there are problems attached to no that as well. And, and not just 10 kilometres, sure. maybe more like 15. Yeah. But and, and frankly, I do like the idea of the government coming in and saying we'll pay for part of the of the mortgage and you can pay that over a period off over a period of time if you don't have all that money uh, accumulated yeah. at the time. Well, we'll, we'll, I don't see anything we'll much see wrong the, with that. We'll see from the demand, I guess. It, it'll be mm. pretty easy to see whether or not people, whether people are take it, it 